Welcome to our channel exam in the BDS. I am Dr. Dinesh. Today we are going to discuss about tuberculosis. It is a chronic inflammation caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. That organism can be identified by acid fast or zeal nielsen staining. First let me tell you about the modes of transmission. There are four modes that is inhalation, ingestion, inoculation and transplacental route. In inhalation route Organisms present in cough droplets can be inhaled to cause infection. In, in ingestion, the sputum from the lungs can be self-swallowed to cause tonsillar or intestinal tuberculosis. It can also be caused from milk of diseased cows. In, in inoculation, the spread is from postmortem tissue to skin and it is very rare. In transplacental route, the infection is from the mother to the fetus and it is a very rare mode of transmission the different routes by which the tuberculosis spreads in our body. There are four routes that is local spread, lymphatic spread, hematogenous spread and spread by natural passages. In local spread, it is carried by macrophages into surrounding tissues. In lymphatic spread, the spread is through the lymphatic system. It is transferred from pharynx to bronchi etc. In hematogenous spread, there is tuberculous basilemia because of the drainage of lymphatics into the venous system due to ulcerated wall of a vein. Organisms somehow enter the bloodstream and lead to spread throughout the body that is to the liver, lungs, kidneys, bone etc. and it is called miliary tuberculosis. Next is through natural passages like how in lungs it spreads to different adjacent segments of the lungs that is transbronchial and similarly it also spreads from lungs to the stomach and other parts through natural passages. I am going to talk about pulmonary tuberculosis and it has primary and secondary. Primary tuberculosis is infection in an individual who has not been previously infected or immunized. It is called primary complex or gons complex. It is a gons focus or a 1 to 2 cm solitary area of tuberculous pneumonia. This region eventually spreads to hilar lymph nodes and other tonsillar and cervical lymph nodes. So now let's see the sequelae of primary complex. Initially due to infection, the area is localized and healing occurs by fibrosis and calcification. Sometimes it may spread to the nearby lymph nodes through lymphatic system. And in case of any erosion in the blood vessel, it may also turn into miliary tuberculosis in which all the organs are affected. Sometimes the primary lesion once healed can also be reactivated at a later stage. This reactivation is based upon the individual's immune system. So now let's see the clinical features of tuberculosis. In relation to lungs, there is productive cough may be associated with hemoptoisis that is blood in the sputum. There is dyspnea that is difficulty in breathing. Chest x-rays may show nodularity or pleural effusion. It seems to be like diffuse infiltrates in the lung parenchyma. They are radio opaque patches. There is fever, night sweats and fatigue and loss of weight and appetite. For, di for diagnosis, initially we do Mantox skin test. In this, tuberculoprotein purified protein derivative is used. Infection is identified as an endurated area of more than 15 mm in 72 hours for an intradermal injection or culture test of the sputum is done positive for mycobacterium tuberculosis hemogram is done which shows lymphocytosis and raised ESR FNAC or fine needle aspiration cytology is done for certain cases usually the cause of death in these pulmonary tuberculosis is pulmonary insufficiency pulmonary hemorrhage sepsis due to disseminated miliary tuberculosis tuberculosis is treated by DOTS therapy is directly observed treatment short course. It consists of 4 to 5 combination of antibiotics. Skin antibiotics include isoniacid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, sambutol and streptomycin. It is taken continuously for a treatment course of 6 months. Irrespective of the healing or reduction of symptoms, we should completely take the 6 months course. This reduces the chance of reactivation. So this topic ends here. Let's see today's bonus fact. In camera terms, the human eye is 576 megapixels. If you like this video, share and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.